All right, Coach Fry, one day in the books at the new indoor facility. It was a special day, I know, for your Gamecocks. A lot of fast times. You said it's a world-class facility, and it produced world-class times today. More than anything, I know you're excited. This has been a dream of yours for a long time, and you got to see it come to fruition today. Yes, I'm excited. I mean, really watching uh, Lorenzi on this track proves to what I thought. I'd say this is a wide track. It's a, a high bank track. It's got uh, the, the gentle slopes off of the high bank. And um, and we got a young man that dropped from 47-2 to 46-1. But he's bought in. You know, last year it was difficult for him. He had to sit out at the indoors. And so, but he continued to stay positive, went to class, did work, and he came back this fall ready to work out. And he just proved that if you do the things you're asked, buy into a system, break things out. He ended up breaking the, the school record by Jonathan Fortenberry, and, uh, and he also broke his national record. Now he's a national record holder in the 300 and in the 400. So we're proud to, to have this track set in records. Number one in the NCAA, what does that set him up for the rest of the year? Well, it's early. Uh, last year it took 46 one to get to the NCAA. Deep. So he's somewhere near a time that would pretty much assure him to get to the NCAA meet. But uh, he's got more left there. He stumbled the last few uh, strides into, into the finish line. Uh, so I think he's got a little bit more left. Um, we'll come back here and run a fast race on February, February 2nd. And so we'll find out what's left there. On the women's side, Stephanie Davis, 53-35 in the 400. Third best time in the country this year, trailing two other Gamecocks, Aaliyah Abrams and Waddle and Jonathan. Your women's quarter milers, especially Stephanie tonight, really on fire this year. Well, we're really excited. Uh, Stephanie came through, uh, and, and, and we, we felt like that she was making that kind of progress. Uh, we're looking forward to them running the mile relay tomorrow night, and I'm proud of Stephanie buying in, following the process, and, and another case in which uh, she she uh, was uh, it was a race where she got out front and didn't get pressure through the race. I think she's got more left in her, but we're going to celebrate uh, the the present performance. In the 3K, Anna Catherine Stoddard shattered her PR by 12 seconds, almost went under 10 minutes, won the race easily. Uh, AK, I know, had some injury issues last year, but looks like she's back 100% and it is really running some fast times to start the year. So really, our coaches have done an outstanding job. Andrews brought that young lady along from her injuries back to where she's able. She's thrilled. Her family's thrilled. Hey, and that group of kids training are excited. That was a great run and effort by that whole group of our, our uh, distance runners. They, they're excited about running indoor track uh, here, and all of them are having performances. Um, and, and I can't say enough about staying with the process. Uh, you know, we just had a great academic semester. We had two 4.0 student athletes, and those are the same uh, student athletes that have great academic performance. Now they get to to perform on a home track in front of their family and friends, and, and you see what comes out when you get to perform in front of your friends. It's a fantastic first day at the new track. I know you got to be excited for tomorrow. Appreciate it, Coach Ryan. Thanks a lot. Look forward for a lot of fans and friends of Gamecock Nation to support uh, their student athletes. Thank you, Coach.